strikes again! Here it comes! I got your back! Here you go. Let's go! The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, your majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself. To the brink of death. You'll get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Oh. Push! Oh. 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 so heavy. Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look! These things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? 
push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Prompto, don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nuh-uh, we just switched back there. And it's my turn, Noct. His turn. Ah, oh, my hands are killing me. You rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, tough guy. Any luck? Only a busy signal. Oh, hold the phone. Is it just me? Or was it supposed to be way closer? I assure you, the map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally, next door. Looks that way. On a map of the world. <sighs> the world's a big old place. Filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. You guys even pushing? Hard as I can. With everything I've got, we'll be there in no time. Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom-to-be, here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Paw Paw. Well, that makes you... Cindy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it, either. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! Wait, uh, what's a gill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. A moment, Noct. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? A uh, bit steep for a simple tune-up, don't you think? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. 
told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Well, so much for finding an easy way out. Thanks a lot, Papa. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though, don't tell Papa. Much appreciated. Please come again. That's it. What's up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. I could taste test for you. <laughs> You're so studious. Ah. They've got everything here. Let's see what they've got for sale. We've already brought everything we need. Want to go check it out? What is it? Uh, you think it's really that spicy? Only one way to find out. Repairs check. Yes, check. Go. Oh, oh, I mean, uh, welcome. What do y'all want to know? So what'll it be today? Take your pick. If y'all liked it, come on back. Oh. 
Looks perfectly palatable from where I stand. Not in that color, it doesn't. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. Only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Ugh, pretend you're walking to the car. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, knocked? Find this! Excellent work. On we go. <sighs> what happened here? A telegraph pole's been split in two. And not just this one, either. The hell do you think did this? Hard to say. Natural disaster, perhaps? You sure? The hammerhead doesn't have a scratch on it. Maybe a huge monster came and knocked him down. It better not be the varmint Cindy was talking about. They aren't gonna know what hit them. Let's do this. Haven't you ever heard of the best offense is a good defense? Keep it together. Okay. I'll say I'm amazed. What can I say? Ignis! If I may. What's the idea? I'm one of the good guys. Remember? Didn't mean to do that. Look! You're paying attention. Uh, what? Yeah. I'll be wanting your attention. Ah, I'll yes. play it by ear then. All right, we'll be done in no time. Let's get on with it. So, uh. Where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Almost there. Give it your all. No cause for concern. 
Nice. Mission complete. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. What's this? Knocked! Get out of here! You okay? We are now. Smoke too soon. Remember, just a step us. Easy as they come. Jack over there. Not yet. I've got a plan. Looking at. This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting game from the safety and comfort of burrows. That's a bit heartless. Don't think yeah. Where are we? Getting by. My pleasure. Can't Hey, who's out there? Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. Yeah. Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but... What do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Oh uh, yeah. We'll take care of it. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw him. Way to show some spunk. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. to rest up before we set out.
In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crown's Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh, is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up. Not bad. <laughs> Nailed it. Why can't I warp too? So unfair. Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Well, like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid'll stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us.
Yeah, the car. Let's make tracks. Yeah, let's. <laughs> I feel so sluggish. Yeah. Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run of the mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> yeah! Show those balls! Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two? Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? A white hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, that explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. So 
How about a breather? Always so eager. I thought. Take a look at our wares. Pleasure doing business. Come again. I was driving the other night when one of those things popped out. Have yourselves a good browse. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thank you kindly. Y'all. Y'all hungry for info? Take your pick. Appreciate it. Stay alert. Tracks. Chop chop, Prompto. Uh, there in a jiffy. Yeah, I am not into uh, wildlife. Uh, oh, that guy. Uh, huh. uh, right there. Thanks. Don't mention it. Uh, hey. yeah. uh, Yeah! 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 Yeah!
You're on fire Your today. time has come. No big deal. None the worse for wear. Bring on the next one. <laughs> Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Want to grab some ingredients? Sure. Ignis can make use of them. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Sid's friends, was it? No surprises. What can I do you for? These nasties here have been a real pain in the rear. Y'all take care now. It's bedtime. Sounds good. Hey, isn't that... Isn't what what? Just my imagination. Stylish as always. It's nice to not have to kill anything. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back! We should all get a picture with her. reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure. 
Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution.